Welcome to the Bat Buffalo Main Event. Bob Gone along with Brad Ryder coming up on today's show. Brad and I will talk with Bucky Gleason of the Buffalo News. We'll also discuss the Bills' possible move to Toronto. But we begin with the Buffalo Sabres in a squeamish accident with Richard Zednick. Reminded people of Clint Malarchuk. Brad, your thoughts on the Richard Zednick incident? I didn't see it happen live because we were watching the game a little bit behind. I actually was planning on going to the game and uh, I didn't make it. So ended up somehow watching with a couple friends behind by pausing the game for whatever reason. And all of a sudden text messages start coming in. And it's like, oh my God, can you believe what just happened? And we successfully avoided finding anything out about the incident, we're kind of speculating what, what could have happened. The greatest goal of all time, a, a bench-clearing brawl for the first time since 1991 or whatever it is. Um, no, it was this. I accidentally saw one of the messages included the word sliced. And I said, oh, this is not going to be good. I left the room before it happened, just uh, knowing that that was going to come. I, did, I didn't want to see it. Um, and I eventually watched... A replay just because I figured I had to. For the good of you, the viewer, here on the Labatt Buffalo main event, I, I thought I should see that. Uh, I, I was very impressed with the fact that he was able to get up, that he had his wits about him and, and got off the ice and got what appears to be good treatment and hopefully everything is okay. Zednik, by the way, I am I'm so heartless, Bob. When in, players are injured, if I didn't care about the player before he was hurt, yeah. I'd say, hey, you know, people get hurt every day. People die every day. I'm like that all the time. I've always liked Richard Zednick as yeah. a hockey player. Even and though he did very well with, when he was with the Capitals. With the and Capitals, back to Montreal, and, Montreal, and the Capitals, and Montreal, yeah. and back and forth. I've always had a lot of respect for him as a player. I like him. Um, and he's been very cool. The it was a squeamish accident, though. It was, it was I mean, disgusting. You, you, I hope he's okay. I, I do. And again, watch the scene that blood on the ice reminded me of the Malarchic situation. Sure. And How could I, it not? I know. It, not? It, it's amazing all those things happen in Buffalo, right? Kevin Everett, it, 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 Chad Johnson, Clint Malarchuk, yeah. uh, now, now Richard Zednick. It's, it's just an incredible. Fortunately, things are going to be okay. I don't know if it's going to lead to any changes in equipment, but uh, it, it wouldn't shock It'll me lead, because. I, my guess is it will lead to nothing. It's just a reminder, and we're going to get one of these every now and then, that hockey skates are blades, and they're sharp, Right. and there are 14 people on the ice at a time. Uh, these kinds of things can happen, and uh, it's just unfortunate. The other thing that people are talking about in Buffalo is the Bills' possible move to Toronto after that legendary, and isn't every Ralph Wilson press conference, legendary, Brad. Your thoughts on the Toronto Bills? Thought number one. Someone needs to stop the man from talking. <laughs> really? You're, can you, what a public relations nightmare. Right. This guy's Russ Brandon just stepped into the job as de facto general manager, whatever he's considered, COO, I guess. He didn't know his, he he's didn't got, know his title anyway, so it doesn't matter. That's Ralph Wilson doesn't know his title. You don't have to know it. Does he know his name? No. He's got to clean that yeah. mess up. Yeah. Everybody over there on that staff, every, they've got to be cringing every time the man speaks laughing it up with Ted Rogers up there and, and just giggling about, I can just send yeah. some people to Buffalo. Yeah. Man. Boy, Ted shh, Rogers. Ralph, shh. Wasn't that like giving Jesse James like to watch over the bank's money? I mean, yeah. seeing Ted Rogers up Let there. the Manson boy cut the cake. <laughs> I mean, my yeah, God. Bad. It was just like, I, th I could see the people's fear. The money that they're going to make in two games up in Toronto this year at $250 a ticket is almost going to equal the seven regular season games, even with the added ticket price to move it up to fifty-one twenty-four. What does that mean? To me, that means, like the Brian Campbell situation, if the Brian Campbell ever hits free agency, he's gone. If the Bills ever hit free agency, I'm afraid that they're gone also. Which is exactly the reason I don't need a group working behind the scenes to keep the Bills in Buffalo. You're not playing against Toronto right now. Become Toronto's friend. The, the, the Bills still have Buffalo on their name. It still says Buffalo. Work with that. Um, Toronto's borderline got the rights to the franchise. Best case scenario, I'd sign up for this right now. Yeah. Split the franchise. Four games in Buffalo, four games in Toronto. Stick them with a preseason game. We'll take one and do that for the foreseeable future. That's the best possible way to keep the Bills in Buffalo. No, Half keep them, and that's good enough to me. Well, first of all, I don't know if Toronto signs up for that, and I think the best way to keep them in town is to have Mary Wilson inherit the team. And so far, Ralph Wilson has said he doesn't want to do that. But that is the best way for the Bills to stay in Buffalo, at least in my mind.
Brad, two local lawmakers have ideas to keeping the Bills in town. One is making them a community-owned team like the Green Bay Packers. The other, a new downtown stadium. Your thoughts on... Politicians in general? Yes. <laughs> I thought about the uh, same as Ralph Wilson. Shh. No more. Really. Downtown stadium. Okay. Great idea. I just suggested having the team here for four instead of eight games right. as a viable solution to keeping the keeping the Bills in Buffalo. Um, I don't Do they need a new downtown stadium? My, the problem is Ralph Wilson would say is whatever he would mumble and jumble, but he would say, listen, you can build me a new stadium. I can't sell the luxury boxes anyway. Right. So what's the, point? what's the point? Don't bring a build new a stadium. Build a whole corridor of industry and we'll be okay. Yeah, That's bring Boeing that. to town. Right. Don't. I don't need a new stadium. I need Boeing. I need a Fortune, two Fortune 500 companies in town. Yeah. So work on that, local lawmakers, I think is what Ralph Wilson would say. And the community-owned thing, I, you know, that's a great idea for Buffalo. Why would Jerry Jones go for that, though? Why would Bob Kraft, why would any o other owner say, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to give Buffalo a hometown discount rather than having Buffalo's franchise make the most amount of money that they could make. It's a great idea for Buffalonians, but you know what? It's like you and I dating Pamela Anderson. You know what? It's a great idea, but I don't think it's going to happen I with our faces. I wouldn't touch her. No, <laughs> but uh, it, don't worry. She wouldn't touch you anyway. It's perfect. It works out it works so out well because we, we're mutually not attractive. But you know what I mean? It's yeah. a great idea, but it's unrealistic. Well, it's it's the kind of thing, yeah, it's it's cute to talk about, but that's as far as it goes. We should all get to everybody throw in 20 bucks and yeah. we'll own the bills. Okay, look, yeah. that's not the deal. Here's the thing, too. The word viable keeps coming up about this being a viable franchise. Mm. I have not yet opened the dictionary to look up viable, but I'm pretty sure I know what it means. The bills are viable. They're just not at operating at maximum profit. And when the NFL, when other owners, when Ralph Wilson talks about viable, he doesn't mean viable. Yeah. He means making as much money as possible. As and Las that's, Vegas that's, would and make. And that's not how it works. <laughs> yeah, Vegas. Wow. Yeah. But that's not how it works uh, in the NFL. Coming up on Labatt Buffalo Main Event, Brad and I will answer your questions. It's the Old Restaurant Lounge email segment up next on Labatt Buffalo Main Event. Short-term memory loss is something we all joke about. I forgot where I put my keys, I forgot what I wanted when I walked into the room. Those are common occurrences that happen to absolutely every person. And there's places out there that can help assess whether or not your loved one is really in the earlier stages of having a true memory impairment problem or if it's just the routine forgetfulness that comes with day-to-day -day life. Bristol Village offers an exclusive memory care program, so call for help early. Bristol Home and Bristol Village. Assisted living where family matters.